Welcome Raiders, I'm Raidolf, this is Freya, and today we're going to be playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, another Viking game for another Viking channel. Even though we do a little bit of everything on here, favorite topic, Vikings. So how about we get into it? I did play a little bit already, I had some recording issues, I got all that squared away, so I do know a bit of what happens at the beginning, unfortunately, but we're going we're gonna to push on through. Yep, we're gonna push on through. Make that right, girl. <laughs> I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Silence, you children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth, nor sky, no grass, nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. There you are. Okie Some armor. Seems to be a bedroom of sorts. This is a party going on outside. Alright, let's go. Oh, he was robbed. Mugs. Music for all the dancing. Oh, there you are, my little drinker. Go. So, you see our king? Yes, good. Come here. Uh, did you find the, the ring? Yes. Now, now for our little plan. You see us talking. Be quiet as a wood mouse. And surprise him with our gift. You hold it out like this. You look him in the eyes and you say, Stearbjorn King, may our clans be forever bonded in friendship and in love. You think you can do that for me? Mm -hmm. Good. Tonight, you will be the court that unite our people. I'm so proud of you. There you are. Get up, Olaf. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is grown greedy. I I'm ready to fight. It's so nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. I am by the bounce. And I then they kick up the feet. Crack I can't really see what's going on. Oh, a little fancy player. I dance naked upon the bleaching beaches. Drink, Holger, and save your poems for your king. He is your king as well. Oh. Oh. Wanna get my... Go drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. I can't. I have a tribute for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy oh. long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. 
Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. So much of the young lad anyways. Like a satyr works through my hammer. <laughs> Have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones he stabbed yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You have a gift to deliver. Out of my way, fellas. Abel, wait. Skull! The true king of Grugafunga! bonded in friendship and love. Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. All then speed our forth will bring <laughs> noble deeds that are gonna sing <laughs> The brave men slain Balkini awakes Rewards for strain to our little takes And horn to sound the mighty horn Not just yet. War time. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. That was fallacy. People saying anything? Oh, no more show. raids. No more clan wars. Please let Odin save us. The battle beckons. That's a beckon, doesn't it? You're scared too, huh? I am the only brave one. I shall go and save everybody. Oh, 
Now! Stop! Please! Right. Go! <laughs> Must help. My mom is gonna die! Die a coward here before your people, and I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! Fight, Dad, don't If do I it. give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Farron. No, Aaron! Pick up your axe! Give me back my allegiance. No. Kill them all! Run, run away! The horses don't look terrible. Not as bad as Odyssey, but it's still really bad. Spread out your body weight as much as possible. Too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. I... Does this mean like you play as both? Mail. Alright, I'll lock it in and push ahead. To a time where these streams are more synchronized. Been chasing me, Wolf Kissed. Seventeen winters. But whipped. Eighteen. Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Oh, your father sags. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, 
Few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> to the ship! And I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. To now, what end. did I just tell you? Hell yeah. Uh, 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 Save that for later. There we go, I think we're good. Save our current, let's go. Save them. Gotta give it though, this game looks pretty good. I mean, not next gen or anything. But it definitely has the uh, likable atmosphere. <laughs> we'll get a really good top down view here in a second. Man, I 
dialogue is Vikings. Hardness. Axes. That oathbreaker is holding my crew. Oh, that was supposed to be water. Whoops. Danish axes, hard, hard, cold, proud mentality. One of Kitvi's men. I need to be careful. Only the strong survive, kind of thing. Got some iron ore. Kiatve's commands. Riki Wolf. Prepare the child of Arn for the slavers. You may use the others for your blood sacrifice. Yotve. Right. So Riku might still be alive. That's good. Kjotvis warriors. I should stay out of sight. Once this land is under Kjotvis lash, we will live like yours. It will not happen while Ravenclaw lives. They fight like berserkers. Evil Wolf Kissed killed a score or more single-handed. Ha! Evil now tastes the slaver's wit. And with Prince Sigurd likely lost at sea, These are the two very unlikely will men. be a memory. Clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Let's check it out. Dog. Thanks. Oh, sick. You old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotve tried to sell me off. 
A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. One of the several shields I've seen on the way here, I take the one off the dead body with Dog. Okay. Not gonna question. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Okay. Go, 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 go. Should this warriors crawl through Arvald's nest like lice? If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. The guards here are vigilant. Show me. That's one. Two, Targets in there. Can only mark three at a time. That sucks. The longhouse. The crew should be inside. Need your eyes, my friend. Oh! <laughs> 
Be an opening in the roof. That's it. I don't know why I thought that was a door. Classic Assassin's Creed. Character never does what they're intended to do. Squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing. Raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Atki. I will sell you to hell herself! Kneel, wolf kissed, and I will spare your life! Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! Beat him up. Yeah. 
go. Nice. Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. I didn't get that for you. <laughs> if I give my life, yeah, I think so too. Will you spare my clan? Then no! Pick up your axe! You can't trust the Kill them all! No! That noble didn't even have a weapon in his hand. It's that damn wolf. And a man with a white cloak and bear skin? Get a closer look. <laughs> That's supposed to be Yggdrasil? We die? That can't be Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil will be way bigger. Abel, are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. Save my crew. Many well, thanks, course, Wolf Crest. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not Hopefully need to dog tell us twice. Has already done it. I bet he didn't, though. I'm willing to bet he didn't. I'm willing to bet he hadn't touched that hey, ship. Boy, come here a moment. All my stuff. Not to see. Maybe he's a, a warrior that lost his hearing in battle or something. Hello, father! You merit the blood eagle! <laughs> Die, you nipping! 
beat you. Remember Bracky stop the drop? There we go. Alright. What are y'all doing? Braggy, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. The whale road. It's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Let's get the heck all out of here. Sail! Sea Catch wind. the wind! Rather silent, Davor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bone-headed, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Took a little settlement over there. Look. Some of the Someone snow particles are hitting the screen. On that island. Cured of his men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Let's do it. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's go, I made it. Need the raven this day. I made it, let's go. Watch you. So cool. Alright! We have what we came for. Let's go. I don't I didn't even got the loot. What do you mean? Armor? What you got for me? What's your bone biter? Oh, that's a Danax! 
Yes! I will take. Very sexy wide swings. Raven ships are few and show no great strength. The land is ours to take. If I remember right, this is 862, 872. Harold just become the first. This Harold the first just became, or has, or is about to become the first king of Norway. If I remember Viking history correctly. Come, we've outstayed our welcome. Is it over? Did we win, everybody? There's an X on it, so I'm thinking we did it. Okay. Up, take command, get everybody on the ship. More sail! Jotva yeah. will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf-kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. I'm trying to demand a song, but it's just not working. Give me a song. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. 
Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. Nope, Aid me. That. Be my eyes. There we go. See. Hold on, everybody. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll turn to ice if I stay here. Silver. That's it. There's a ruined building over there too. Let the sail out. Should we go check that out? It might just be a harbor or a fishing dock. I think it's just a fishing dock. Yeah, we can dock there. Okay, awesome. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Kjotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? Nope. If there's a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Skulls will only sing about my good deeds, not my bad. Use the same Pull up here. here. Alright, let's go. Well, well. The feather of ravens returns. And not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. Sigurd. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from yep. his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many yep, years... Yep, gave us PTSD. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past yeah. agonies, of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. I can't believe it would help me make sense of my that. feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor, looking rough you are. Welcome home. Thank you. All right, what are we, what are we doing here? Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat. Oh, well, I didn't finish the... Well, I guess you guys would have seen it. I didn't get to see what he said to him. 
Sit a while and play, friend. Sorry, son. I can't remember how to play this. Ah, uh, Orlok. Orlok. A game of skill. Orlok. <laughs> how about a game? Yes. Let's do this then. All right then. Let us begin. Let's see, let's see. Just gonna freeze it if you wanna read the rules. Choose heads. It's heads, I go first. Roll phase. I roll up to three times. Okay, roll my dice. Ooh, very good. These are all what they do. Melee damage range, block range, block melee, steal a god favor token. He goes first now. Interesting. Dice. Gotta re-roll that one. No steals. Steal on me. I gotta steal on him. Okay. God favor. Not yet. Not yet. Don't want to invoke the favor of my god just yet. I'm gonna go for the 12 stack. for defense. This will do. One dice again. Two more steals. Confirm. Stealing a bunch of his, that's for sure. And with that, we will deal the eight damage. I will steal several of his. He will steal two of mine. I will invoke my god's favor. Eight damage. This victory will be mine. You are really good at this. I will go pure damage henceforth. Hmm. I win, no matter what. I think. When 
is mine. Sure. I'll invoke a god favor for fun. GG. Are you even trying? This cannot be. I challenge you to another round. Not for now, my man. That is enough, Orlock, for now. You're bad at board tabletops. I got Vidar's might for a god now. That's good. Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. I will come back. That's what she wants. Hello, my friend. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna do something over here first. Well, look who it is. Alvis. My favorite. Practicing fellow. your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's do it. Let's flight. Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. That's now, cool. let us examine meaning. <clears throat> meaning. In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Both of these are about violence, though. I... Then I'll make a fine goblet from out of your skull. That's a pretty funny one. And I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, hey, a good response. No. What happened? I don't know what happened. We're good. Uh, then you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you Some matched sort of my meaning. Stupid windows. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. I'll flit you with flourish and best you with flair. I'll make you regret you taught me. <laughs> I will flit you with flourish and best you with flair. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Flight. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. That's fine. Ooh, charisma leveled up. Unlock special dialogue options. I gotta make sure to do those whenever possible. Two cross drinking horns. Let's Come do it. And drink. Let us amuse the gods. Yes, let's do it. Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Hell yeah, I think I can. All right, let's go. Three. Skull! 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 Skull!
Come me. on, Sekla, you're falling behind. Staggering already. That's two. Dang it, I almost thought I had it. <laughs> Crap. I'm so bad at doing the tilting at the same time. Come on. There we go. Maybe that's starting to get close. I like jumped. Odin, mead is my lifeblood. <laughs> that was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk, drunk done. done. <laughs> is there no Before one who will go around with me? I'll go another. No, not right now. This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. Come and here. drink. Let us amuse the gods. The Summoning a mount. Hi. See, Sean. What you got? This is available for purchase. Better arrows, rations. Nothing more? Nope. You have absolutely I must take my nothing leave. of interest. So long. Ooh, is this a stable? Well, whoever's here, we don't have a stable mast. Damn it. Dang. Is there no one who will go around with me? Who would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There has always been poor. Come to keep the blade the shots. When Mitka Wolf kid. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Yeah, let's do it. Simple old axe to axe with a fine leather bind and a golden plated axe handle. Tip. Axe. Whatever that's called right there. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Uh, Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five. five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower your standards. Lower. My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Well, okay, then. That's all for now. You know, lots of Return confidence. Any time. I give him that. Lots and lots of confidence. Mm. Let's go speak to the king. Yeah, 
They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Okay. I guess we're gonna go speak to the witch first. Then. Come! A little dice never caused any harm. Oh, hottie. Got some tattoos. Okay, I guess we'll do that first. I wish we had a stable, a working stable. I really love to switch my mount out. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Let's change my hairstyle. Oh. Actually, you know what? I kind of like my hairstyle. Let's change the beard. Nice long braided beard. Yormagunder tattoo on the arms. Doesn't Floki from Vikings have tattoos like uh, the Sigrid, uh, Sig, Sigurd Drifumal? Blonde just fits, in my opinion, better. Good. Need anything else? Nope, that's it. See I'm you later, Sven. Now, Thanks, sure. Spain. Thank you, Spain. All right. Oh, let's supply some <laughs> skill points, maybe. in the melee. There we go. Better to be a master in one thing than... Back for more. Slightly good in others. Yes. What can you do for me? I didn't mean to talk to Gunner again. That's all for now. Return any time. Maybe the uh, stable keeper has shown up. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Come and drink. Let no. us amuse the gods. Come on. I would like to ride around on my wolf, not at. Ugly horse. <whistles> Ugly dang horse. Yeah. All right. Hey, look, he's born We're off to see the sea here. The witch of the clan. The volumetric lighting. It's really good. My eyes! They burn! Alright. The god cursed background has deserted again! Why are you shouting? Ivan has wandered off again. Every time he claims he got lost in the mountains, I have had enough. 
If I have to risk more men looking for him, he will be branded and outlawed. Ivan, he's Gunner's sister's son if I have it right. Do not fire your irons yet. I will have a look around. Come back! Or be branded a deserter! She sounds like a... Do you want to be... Really rude. Not somebody I would want to work under. Come on, horsey. Grrrr. Yeah. Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka. Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice on a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Clothing. Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Whatever happens, whatever I see, whatever you foretell, it must stay between us. We cannot change the fate we are bound to. What matter who knows and who does not? The outcome will be the same. It matters to me. Drink. If you seek true understanding. <coughs> oh. It's one of those stomach aches. It's one of those stomach aches where you just rather kill over and die kind of stomach ache. Those are the worst. Nothing's worse than a stomach ache. Compared to some other that lose a finger. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Skull. Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? He's speaking to a wolf. He's adorable, all of them. I love the little 
glitches the teleporting and the desync and lag and the rubber banding. What is this? Cut his arm off. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! Yeah. Ugh. Sigurd! What is... What has happened? This was not for you, Javi. from really uh, strange dream to a uh, nightmare. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. Calm down. Calm down, Fenrir. Calm down. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. Definitely Fenrir. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm-hmm. I saw Odin, I guess that was Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, was? for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. We didn't see Sigurd cut off his own arm. He didn't have even a weapon to do so. 
looked like. Fast travel. So maybe we're the ones meant to cut off his arm. Offerings to Valka. Two chickens from Snaefried to anoint her crops. One sheep from Thora for her child's blood blessing. Blessing. One goat from Dog for more skin salve. We got a synch synchronization point. Sink real quick. Plus, there's some sort of blue thing. You foxes are adorable. So Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Ivan, wake up! Or you will be cast into the wild. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Sort of Ivan, wake up! Mission. You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> oh, I think he's awake. Ivan! Ivan! Calm down! You are asleep! No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch and sleep when you are in bed. But now, report back before you label a deserter. Go. Oh, you better hurry back. That uh, lady is fed up with you.
See anything soft to jump onto? Can we go back the same way? I wonder. Probably not. Biter? Was it a regular axe? It's called male biter, right? No, bone biter. Never mind. Can we just upgrade it from our inventory? I don't know if I want to. Maybe it costs less to go to a blacksmith, so we'll do that first. Literally jumped in my way. The battle-born Asir hated Delania's magic, betrayed custom, and made murder in Odin's great hall. Gulveig of the Vanir was killed and burnt, not once, but three times, and reborn as Freya, mother of the Valar. Hmm. The Back for more. 
Yes, I bring my weapons for cheaper. Yes. What can you do for me? No, that's just enhancing it. Upgrading and enhancing is two different things, it seems like. Okay. Do you need anything I else? I see, I see. Right. That's all for now. Return any time. So what is upgrading this to? Up six. Save real quick. Alright, what's the matter? They must be finished now. Surely. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. Well, yeah, I'm ready now. to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Oh? That's sad. I have a bad feeling. Dream. Oh, I want to save again. Oh, I can't. That's not good. That's not good at all. He's got both his arms. Hey, hey, careful with that one. Avon! See good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? 
Oh, and you, salt cured Vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. <laughs> Just to start. Randvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. Assassins. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we like traded that. with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtve's men. They must have cut the tale short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyrtve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you, by the winter's end, the name Kurt with the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Is it weird? Why did he have assassins with him? I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but assassins plot. My son! Welcome home! Uh, father! Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all, he has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. I got serious really quick. <clears throat> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. If he went to Rome and then Africa and then came back, he must have been gone for a year, two years even. <laughs> Let me talk to everybody first. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornburg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. Landry. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is 
Not something I can speak on, or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight, with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long, he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he oh, has right, been two away years. for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, uh, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> I, like, I knew he'd be gone a year or two, even. <laughs> Assassin. <clears throat> Hytham, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. <laughs> now what about you, Master Assassin? You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm, a celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. He's plotting. They're both plotting. Well, maybe maybe Haytham doesn't know, but Basim's plotting for sure. And maybe Sigurd's also plotting. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. Look at him. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Formberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. You have been away too long, brother. You do not know the spiced kick of Tekla's meat. Mm, it does have a new taste. I like it. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know.
I don't know what to say. I think if I can call it beautiful. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifam. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Hmm. We have to hit the blade. That's exciting. But, um... Sure. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Nicely done. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. Challenge. Leap down upon that target from above. <laughs> exactly, just like that. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. I was on a while since I've done this. That's it. Boom, haystack hill. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Why not ram the blade? Surely we have more... Python. Hush. Exactly, just like that. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor. Let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. They're gonna... This is my theory. They're gonna assassinate the king. Sigurd's gonna become king. And I'm gonna be the one that's blamed. Because of the arguments. The what do you make have. of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. I'm gonna get set up. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. 
The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. All I can think of while they're talking is plotting, plotting, <laughs> plotting. Sinister. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotve's warriors! No! I should find the others. Show me what lies ahead. Just the three of us. We should return to not fall without. Or report while we can. We can bring Kyotve news of the longships. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. Is there trouble? When Yot returns, we weigh our name. Sigurd already knows about it. Kiyotve's instructions. Tell me what you see and how many ships, warriors, supplies. Also, new visits from Jarls and other important people. Learn what you can and report back to me directly. Sorry, I was thinking about a completely different topic while I was trying to read that. It slowed me down significantly. Alright. We shouldn't tell Sigurd, we should tell the king! Sigurd's been gone for two dang years! Uh, don't 
like this. With each day we wait, Kjotve grow. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. Gods, Eivor, what happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that whaling village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. To the waves! All of a sudden, everybody's here. Let's do it, let's we go. We must row in these waters. Sail is ready when Warriors. needed. Warriors! Drink it! Run up the sail! Away. Yes. Far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes end! Afraid? I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow! But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtval from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. The bonfire is burning. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stirpion did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. The waves are doing a really good job. I am impressed. I mean, it's not Sea of Thieves level, but it's still really good. Well, who knows? It might be. Let me go out far enough. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Well, Raiders, before we pillage not him, or not, not fall, this is unfortunately all the time I have left for episode one of our playthrough, or part one of our playthrough. And I just want to thank you guys so much for coming along on this adventure so far, and I hope you guys continue.